Well, WTHR right now is teaming up with the Red Cross this week in an effort to come together for our community and help save lives. Well, every two seconds, someone is in need of blood in the U.S. for surgeries, cancer treatments, or injuries. And now one Hoosier is sharing how giving blood saved her life twice. That's really amazing. Matthew Foltz had a conversation with her. Here's his story. Here at Farmland Friends Church in Farmland, Indiana, it's not just a place of worship, but also where the congregation and community help the Red Cross collect blood. Without that extra blood, I probably wouldn't be here to tell my story. Over the last decade, Robin Huffman has helped organize blood drives at the church, but her journey with blood donations runs deeper. Quite a few years ago, I had a hysterectomy, and early in the morning after that surgery, the nurse came in for a blood pressure check and I, my body was starting to shut down and she, she right away called a code blue. Doctors would soon tell Huffman she was bleeding internally. And I was given two units of blood to help stabilize me. However, that wasn't the end of her story. This past January, when prepping to give blood at the church, a mini health assessment before her donation revealed something startling. In my case, my hemoglobin was dangerously low, really, and they said, you're, you're not able to give, you'll be deferred this time. Huffman later went to the doctor for a colonoscopy to find out what was wrong. And they found a fairly large tumor, but I wasn't having any real noticeable symptoms. So that blood try, the, the mini health assessment, helped uncover really what could have been a life-threatening you know, situation. Huffman says she had a tumor removed and is now in chemotherapy to help fight off future cells, a situation that could have led to death, instead a second chance at life, thanks to a blood drive. She now hopes others will do the same to help those who may need it the most in life. You know, I think about Jesus. He died and shed his blood for people, but in a small way, we're shedding our blood to give people physical life like he did with spiritual life. In Farmland, Matthew Foltz. 13 News.